Now, in this video, I will talk about the binomial uh, distribution. I mean, you might have seen this before in other courses you have taken. So we say that if a random variable x, we write this as follows. x has the binomial distribution, b i n, with parameters m and p, if it's p a map, because it's a discrete distribution, we talk about the probability mass function, not the probability density function. That is given by the following. So we use the notation little px, which is this by definition, equal to m choose x p to the power x or minus p to the power m minus x where x goes from 0, 1 up to m right? and uh, m is an integer and p uh, p is a number between uh, 0 and 1 right? and um, obviously m choose x I'm sure you guys know m choose x is defined as m factorial divided by x factorial times m minus x factorial okay okay so this is the probability mass function of the binomial distribution and the cdf the cdf of x is given by, by the following Well, I think I mentioned this before in this course that the notation like this means the largest integer less than or equal to x. Okay. Alright, so anyway, this, this stuff I'm sure all of you know from courses you have taken previously. Alright, um, right, next. The properties uh, to I mean uh, there are two simple properties I'm sure uh, all of you know this again if X is a binomial variable then the expected value is m times p and the variance is m times p times 1 minus p. Once again, I don't expect you to know how to prove this, but 
But if you can prove them, that's great. I mean, they're not really difficult to prove. Okay. Right. Next. Um, R commands. Um, there are two commands. Uh, one is for the the PMF. So one is. Uh, let me write down the command for the PMF first. For the PMF, the command is as follows: D B I N O M open bracket x size size gives the value for m so suppose m equal to 10 and prop prop gives the value for p suppose p equal to 0 0.5 so this command here this command here will compute We'll compute the PMF of a binomial distribution with these parameters at values specified by X, right? Okay, and now second for the CDF, the command is P. P stands for probability P B I N O M open bracket X comma say size is once again the value for M prop is the value for P right so so this command So these are two commands for the binomial, to me two, two of the R commands for, for computing the PMF and the CDF of the binomial distribution, right? Okay, next thing is I'm going to talk about estimation. I mean, there's no point having a distribution unless you can estimate its parameters. Okay. So suppose Suppose you have a random sample from a binomial distribution with parameters m and p and assume um, m is known, assume that the value for m is known. So the only unknown parameter is p. Uh, An estimate for P is given by the following formula. So I use the word hat to denote the estimate for P is 1 divided by M times N uh, 
All right, and uh, later in this course, um, I will show you how to actually derive the formula that I have given you here, right? Okay. Suppose you have a variable x that has a binomial distribution with parameters 5, so m equal to 5, p equal to 0 0.1, and we want to calculate the probability that x is less than 1. Okay? So, let's see how we can do this. So, the probability that x is less than 1, because x can take only one integer values, this must be the probability that x is equal to 0. And this, by the probability mass function of the binomial, this must be Answer is 0 0.9 to the power 5. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, that's a simple example. Uh, example 2. you have a binomial variable with parameters 10, m equal to 10 and p equal to 0 0.5 and suppose we want to calculate the probability that that x is between 1 greater than 1 and less than or equal to 4 All right so So if it's strictly greater than 1 and less than equal to 5, then the possible values it can be it can be 2, right? It can be it can be 3, it can be it can be 4 and it can be 5. So there are four different possible values. So in other words, we can using the sum notation you can write this as sum from 2 to 5 of the probability that x equal to i. Okay, so this becomes the probability x equal to i is 10, m is 10, choose i. Okay, then 0.5 to the power i, 1 minus 0.5 to the power 10 minus i. Okay. And uh, this we can simplify a little bit. This is 0 0.5 to the power 10. For combining these two, multiplied by the sum i from 2 to 5 
of ten shoes. Right, so that completes example two. Right, I'll just do one more example. Example 3. Suppose right? and suppose we want to calculate the probability that That x is between 100 and 200. So here you have a binomial variable with n equal to a large number, 1000. Right? So you see what we can do in a minute. So this, if I use the sum notation, is from i from 100 to 200 of the probability that x equal to i. Okay. Now this is going to be the probability i from dealing with huge numbers. If you, if you are to compute this, let me show you. I mean, you are dealing with, even in a calculator, this would be very difficult to compute. 1000 factorial will be impossible to calculate in a calculator, right? Divided by I factorial times 1000 minus i factorial. So these numbers will be almost impossible to calculate uh, with the calculator. Even in a, even with the computer it will be difficult to calculate these numbers. So the question is how can we do this? How can you compute a thing like this? Right? And Right, before I give the answer, let me write down. Right, the answer to this question will be given in the next video where I will talk about the central limit theorem. The central limit theorem is one of the most fundamental results in statistics.